to Nane Anan and the Anan family, to Kofi Annan's larger family, starting with you, Your Excellency President Akufu Addo, and the people of his beloved Ghana, and extending to every corner of the globe. To the many members of the United Nations community who grieve the passing of one of our own. Since the shock of Kofi's death, I have been reflecting on what made him so special. And to my mind, it is simply this Kofi Annan was both one of a kind and one of us. He was an exceptional global leader. And he was also someone virtually anyone in the world could see themselves in. Those on the far reaches of poverty, conflict and despair, who always found in him an ally. The junior UN staffer following in his footsteps. The young person to whom he said until his dying breath, and I quote, always remember, you are never too young to lead and we are never too old to learn. Like few in our time, Kofi Annan could bring people together, put them at ease, and unite them towards a common goal for our common humanity. There is an old joke. The art of diplomacy is to say nothing, especially when you are speaking. Kofi Annan could say everything, sometimes without uttering a word. It came from the dignity and the moral conviction and the humanity that was so deep in him. He had that gentle voice, that lilt that made people smile and think of music. But his words were tough and wise, and sometimes the graver the situation, the lower that voice would get. We would lean in to listen, and the world would lean in, and we were rewarded by his wisdom. Kofi Annan was courageous, speaking truth to power, while subjecting himself to incense, to intense self-scrutiny. And like his predecessor, Dag Amarskjold, he had an almost mystical sense of the rule of the United Nations as a force for good in a world of ills. All of these added up to a remarkable record of achievement. He pioneered new ideas and initiatives, including the Millennium Development Goals and the landmark reforms in his report, In Larger Freedom. He opened the doors of the United Nations, bringing the organization closer to the world's people and engaging new partners in protecting the environment, defending human rights, and combating HIV AIDS and other killer diseases. Kofi Annan was the United Nations, and the United Nations was him. Dear friends, <laughs> Kofi Annan was also a good friend for me. We marched together through life in many ways. When the people of Timor-Leste were seeking self-determination, we worked together, he from the United Nations and I from Portugal, to support the peaceful resolution of their plight. When the UN Refugee Agency needed new leadership, Kofi blessed me with his trust in asking me to fill that role and then provided unwavering support to protect and shelter the most vulnerable of the vulnerable. Now that I occupy the office Kofi once held, I'm continuously inspired by his integrity, his dynamism, and his dedication. To him, indifference was the, worst world, was the world's worst poison. Even after finishing his term as Secretary General, he never stopped battling on the front lines of diplomacy. He helped to ease post-election tensions in Kenya, gave his all to find a political solution to the brutal war in Syria, 
and set out a path for ensuring justice and rights for the Rohingya people of Myanmar. Coffee straddled many worlds, north and south, east and west. But he found his surest anchor in his African roots and identity. The great Nelson Mandela, accustomed to being called Madiba, had his own nickname for coffee and called him my leader. This was no jest. Coffee was our leader too. When I last saw him not long ago at the UN, his bearing was how I was always remember him. Calm yet determined, ready to laugh, but always filled with the gravity of the work we do. He is gone now, and we will miss him immensely. But I'm sure of this. If we continue to lean in and listen hard, we we'll still hear the words and wise counsel of Kofi Annan. Please carry on, I hear him saying. And allow me to quote him. You know what to do. Take care of each other. Take care of our planet. Recognize the humanity in all people and support the United Nations, the place where we can all come together to solve problems and build a better future for all. End of quote. Dear friends, let us continue to heed that voice of grace and reason the voice of morality and solidarity. Our world needs it more now than never. As we face the headwinds of our troubled and turbulent times, let us always be inspired by the legacy of Kofi Annan and guided by the knowledge that he will continue speaking to us, urging us on towards the goals to which he dedicated his life and truly moved our world. Thank you very much.